Hello, in this video, we are going to look at something like this. So, we have to mark these stations, these following stations, as alignment labels with some profile elevation. So, we have to mark the profile elevation as well as uh, alignment label on the alignment. So, how to achieve this? So, if you are going to do this one by one on an alignment, that would be a tedious task you can't add each label by typing these values on the alignment and the profile elevation on that alignment label so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, look at a very easy way how to do this so from this excel sheet i am moving on to uh, civil 3d this is my civil 3d window you can see i have alignment so earlier in the excel sheet you saw at what stations I need the alignment labels. So to do that, I am going to this annotate tab and go to add alignment labels here. So here from this small uh, window, I need to get this station offset. Then I am getting a copy of this station offset label style. Copy current selection. Then I will name it as station offset with profile elevation. Then I go to the layout tab. Now we have currently these things as the uh, station and offset. So I will change this text height to 1.5 and I will remove this visibility of the border and now i have the station and offset values then i need to add this profile elevation component here so to do that you need to get the you need to use the reference text option so you go to reference text and what i need is a profile elevation i will select profile here and click ok so i will name the reference text as profile elevation and i go to the label text here so i will select this one what i need is profile elevation it will be given as three digit precision three decimal precision and i click here to add this and i click ok so i will change the text value to 1.5 here so you can see now you will be given the data like this you can see my marker and the uh, profile elevation uh, overlap each other so i will uh, raise this area a bit to a higher uh, position so i will type 3 here now it is too much like i will type 2 and i will move that profile elevation to a higher value and remove this one to a higher variables right now let's look looks okay so it will give my you it will give me the station and the offset and the profile elevation so this is our this is our settings now i click ok so now I am selecting station offset with profile elevation. So I click here to add this. So it is asking for alignment. So I select this alignment. Then it is asking for the station along the baseline. So I will type first station here. So I move back to the Excel sheet. So my first station is 22.501. So I type here 22.01. Click enter. And my offset would be 0. Then it is asking me the label style for profile elevation. So I right click. I right click so it will give me the all list of profiles here my 
profile is rda profile new attached to this attached to this profile view so i click ok right now first label was placed now what i have to do is this now i go to excel sheet again my excel sheet where i have the stations i need to get the labels here now i am in this excel sheet so i have used this label already so what i have to do is to mark this rest of the labels so i will type this station i have the station value here i will type the offset value which is zero here and i will drag this bottom to get all the offsets as zero then what i do is i select all these things like this and right click and say copy then i move back to uh, civil 3d so right here i put my cursor and i press ctrl v or select right click and select paste so now i finish everything i will press escape now you can see everywhere you have the alignment label with offset and profile elevation here you can see so if you want to confirm that this is the correct profile elevation you can go to uh, inquiry and so let us say i have 22.828 so 22.828 and my profile is already a profile new as i told you earlier so i will press enter you can see you get the same elevation like this so that is how to get the alignment label at random or arbitrary locations in one go with civil 3d